Good afternoon, everybody. I am very honored to be here today and uh, very happy to talk about uh, a topic that maybe the title seems a little bit weird, talking about deja vu, um, but pretty much is talking about HR challenges that we have faced in the past, we're facing now, and we're going to face in the future. So how many of you have ever had a deja vu? You know, how many of you? Raise your hands. Okay, most of you. So for the ones that don't know, uh, a deja vu is the feeling of having already experienced something in a present situation. So from the HR field, I can tell you that throughout my career, in many, many occasions, I feel that I have experienced these challenges already. You know, it doesn't matter that I was working in a technology company or fast consumer moving goods or the call center industry, um, manufacturing. The challenges seem to be exactly the same over and over again. And today I'm going to talk about a few of those challenges that I've had um, in the past, some of the challenges that we face right now and the challenges that we will continue to face. So first of all, let's talk about talent acquisition or recruitment. In the case of talent acquisition, um, challenges from the past that we may have seen um, is that the type of candidates that we were looking for, you know, were focused on how many degrees do they have, you know, how many years of experience do they have. And I don't know if any of you ever had a line manager tell you, oh, I want someone um, with university degree, hopefully a master's, um, at least five or seven years of experience, and um, they can be around 27, 28 years old. So you're thinking, okay, so you want them to study, to work, and to do everything, because if not, they're not ready to be hired. Um, so these are part of the challenges. You also had you know, the, the, the problem that you needed to find very specialized talent you needed to be able to find that marketing professional that had been done, doing only marketing her, uh, her or his entire career. Um, and you had very limited um, channels to source candidates from. Um, how many of you have ever posted a job advertising in a newspaper? The actual newspapers that you used to read before, you know? Um, so before you didn't have many options. What's happening now is that People are expecting companies to have a strong employer brand. I learned this when I worked at Unilever. 